Welcome to the Fit Life with MJ podcast, where you'll learn how to take complete control of your mind and body to become unstoppably confident and create a life you cannot get enough of. Listen in as I drop weekly real and raw solo apps and interviews with industry professionals, teaching you not only how to overcome your self-doubt and limiting mindsets, but also learn how to navigate the BS of the health industry. Avoid being tricked by health gimmicks and discover how to lose your unwanted weight and get into your best shape the right and sustainable way for you. Because truly, becoming the best version of yourself requires not only being in complete control of your own mind and emotions, but also being in your best physical shape. I'm your host, MJ, a certified personal trainer, nutrition and mindset coach, and the creator of Forever Fit, my online health and mindset program. And I'm here to help you become unstoppable. I cannot wait to share today's episode with you. So let's get into it. All right, happy Tuesday evening, ladies. We are now officially live for our free exclusive tarot reading with Tanya. I am so freaking excited for this. I cannot wait to have you girls have a reading done with Tanya, hear her expertise, be enlightened, learn about your personality, learn about your future and learn how to take control of your life. This is going to help put you in the driver's seat of your life, your happiness, your mindset, which is what we are all about here in Forever Fit. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Gorgeous. Oh, there's a few more girls on. So I am going to... Oh, I need to go back into my group <laughs> and see who is on because I've got to use my other device. My Apple doesn't tell me anything about face about what's going on with my Facebook lives. All right, here we are. Okay, we're good. Cool. All right. Angie, she made it. Hello, beautiful. Hey, Paige, how are you? Paige, Sarah, who else have we got on? Oh, it's not telling me. Oh. How's everyone's Tuesday been? How have you all been? It's been so long. Um, all right, Janaya, hello, gorgeous. Oh, I love this. There's so many of you here already. This is so fun. I cannot wait. I'm just waiting for, um, hey, Narissa, how you doing, gorgeous? I'm just waiting for um, Tanya to jump on so that I can invite her on camera and then we can start the reading because obviously this is all about her. I'm going to get her to do most of the talking tonight, which as you can tell, is not usually my thing. It's usually me that does all the talking. <laughs> but um, yes, I am going to not do all of the talking today because Tanya is one with all of the expertise. So just getting her on, waiting for it to bring up the option for her to come on live. I don't know why it's not. Shelly, hello beautiful, how are you? I love this. All right, there we go. Oh, come on, let me tap the button. Send invitation. Okay. Prepare to be amazed, ladies. I love this stuff. If you love tarot, if you love all that spiritual energetics, this is your fault. It's going to be for you. Hello, we're back. Oh, hello. Sorry about all the tech stuff. Nice to be here. We got there, we got there in the end.
also obviously explain the benefits of tarot. And then we're going to get into some readings. So take cool. the floor, Tanya. Tell us all about what you do. Okay. Can you hear me okay? It's very quiet at my end, but I think, I think it could be my speaker on my phone. I'm not sure. If anyone yes. else is finding it quiet, can you please pop in the comments for us so that we know? Because yeah. I've, yeah, I don't know what else to do with it. If um, you can hear well, okay, great, okay, thank so you. Angie just said she can hear well, so I okay, think great. I just need the speaker on my phone. So ignore me, and you just do you. Cool. <laughs> thank you. Yep, everyone is saying they can hear. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for the um, thanks for letting us know that you can hear. Because my phone is obviously playing tricks on me. Oh, good, good. good. Well, I hope, I hope your phone's okay. So, hi, everyone. I'm Tanya, um, Tanya Yorgi, and I've been reading tarot. My first deck was when I was 19, and I'm 56 now, so 35-odd years. And I consider, um, I consider, sorry, I'm probably looking at the, at the, the notes coming down now. I'll, I'll um, look the other way. But tell me if I'm missing something. You don't need to hear me tonight, Shan, I talk about Cool, cool. Um, yeah, my first experience, not with tarot, but rather with spirit, when I, I would have been about 15 and a friend had passed tragically in an accident, a car accident. And at that point, I mean, I'd always been interested in all this sort of thing. But the night of her funeral, I was devastated, and the night of her, her funeral, she appeared in my bedroom window as clear as a bell, clearer than any human could be in this physical realm. And it was something that it, it just showed me. There's the other side and they're blooming and they're gorgeous. And the story behind it was that my boyfriend's father was the one that rescued. So I left a tragic story in my mind. And um, I know she came back to say, hey, I'm fine. I'm not what you think happened. So... Even before that and up until now, I've been talking to them every day. I talk to them as my friends, as I have a guide. His name is James. Um, I walked the Canino back in 2008 and we became, I always knew him, but then we met as I was walking the Camino. It's like a 1,000K walk across Spain. And he actually shared his name and it all became clearer and clearer. And I think the more silent we are, the more able we are to sit in that just completely letting go of our ego and how that because the ego wants to keep us safe it's our shadow side that says no we've got to fit in a box and if you step outside then that's going to be real i'm going to make you really uncomfortable so yeah. there's a lot of uncomfortable things that happen in spirituality you know because it really is stepping outside and our body is the first gauge of where it's going to happen. So our body and what an ideal group to talk to about how important the body is and how to listen to it and how every single thought has to come through our body. And, yeah. That's why I'm so excited to be doing this tonight. Yeah, yeah. And you think about... Mother Earth is a vibrational being, a vibrational energy, as we all are. And she decided to come down and become Mother Earth, just as we decided to come down into this physical body. So we're all, all playing in this, in this journey of the physical, and that's why, like when you think spirit, they don't have a physical, um, you know, a physical home. They're out into the air. And so when they see us going through what we're going through, they're just cheering us on the whole time. No matter if it's good, bad, indifferent, they're just going, do you want more of that? Do you want more of that? And that's why it's so important to understand that what we're focusing on is what we're going to keep getting. Yep. So if we're saying, yes. saying, I don't want this or I don't want that, spirit doesn't understand the don't word. It will just keep giving you because it really doesn't see it as negative. They love experiencing all experiences. So... Um, yeah, that, I think that's a, a major, especially for, for you. Is it all, all ladies, gents? I don't know. How many? Yeah. This group is all girls, all females. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, I guess how 
often and how do you listen to your bodies, I would ask, you know, how do, how do you first thing in the morning wake up and connect with your bodies? That very first thought waking up in the morning for me it is at least is the most important thought thought of the day yeah so then I guess as time went by with different spiritual things that happened for me and I was introduced to the tarot cards through my auntie um she took me to have a reading with a lady who actually gave me a foot reading sort of like <laughs> kinesiology slash um yeah, it was just strange. I've never had another reading like it since. I didn't even know you could do that. That's <laughs> mm. and, and it was like, um, what do you call um the pressure points oh. on your feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what is and, that? But she, it was That's different. It was, it was, yeah, nothing like I'd ever had and yeah. have experienced again. And she said to me, um, she, uh, she remember, was saying when she said when she did the reading she said oh you'll make a beautiful mother you're going to have children and blah. and I just my body went cold and I always knew as a tiny thing I remember about three that I would never have children and I would never marry and not that there was anything negative in that it was just the thing of I knew that wasn't my my path um and I'm totally okay with that it was never a question and then when she said that in the reading my body shifted and then she went, whoa, no, sorry, no, you were a past life, you had 10 children or 10 siblings and you had to look after them and you've decided in this lifetime not to come back and do it again. And it was like, okay, that's, that's, and then I do, I follow, I follow what I feel intuitively is right and if it's uncomfortable, then I know it's just shifting. So whenever you're uncomfortable, everyone, you know you're just elevating your experience here in this 3D um, world, I guess. I actually, I feel that a lot, um, just being able to lean into feeling your gut instinct and if something yeah. feels, like I, I liken it to a circle fitting into a circle or a circle yep. into a square. If it feels like a circle fitting into a circle, it's usually the right thing. Yeah, yeah. A comfortable feeling or an uneasy feeling if it's wrong, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And for an example, there was a, um, a time when I was in Dalesford living there and I was doing out of body. I wanted to know more about that. And I'd been doing that for a while anyway, but there was an experience where I left my body, I watched me in bed, I went out into the lounge, looked, floated out and did my thing. And then a person, a soul, an energy came in the back door and they were completely lost in this realm. They weren't of this realm. And... As I was out there with that person, the light shone through the front window and, and I just pointed the way. I didn't do anything really. It was it was almost like I wasn't there. person walked through and went towards the light. And then I went back to bed. I just dropped back in my body. And when I feel myself come back to my body, it's just sort of a whack. It's sort of a, oh, and then you wake up. But this time I had the devil next to me and the devil, the end energy of the devil card and, and the devil devil's a contrast because he's esoteric he's he's the one that does go into the under you know he goes into the shadow experiences and I just he said that was out of the comfort zone and said don't do that again I won't be letting you do that again um and I thought well I've created that I created him being there how I put him into my world and so the next night, I didn't go back to sleep that night. I was absolutely, I could, if someone had a broken in to the house, I would have been left afraid. <laughs> so when I got woken up with that energy, and the, the devil is, he's fierce. He will do anything he can to, and it is, it's what society expects of us, the devil. There's always the shadow side of the devil as well, but when, when he came in. So the next night in meditation, I sat and I invited him in. And I said to him, and so I, you know, he just invoked his energy of what it was and then he came in and I said, I love you so much. Thank you for keeping me safe. Um, I'm fine and, and so I don't need you to do that. And the love in his face was just, it just went, it came into almost this cheeky, smiley face because that's what the devil can be, you know, the deep, cheeky devil, yeah, yeah, yeah. the same. And he just went and he was gone. So when we... 
we can actually walk towards our fear and actually say to it, thank you for trying to keep me safe. I don't need you to do that. Um, I love that. I need to do yeah, that because, like, I'll face my fears, but I'm not actually consciously doing it. I'm just, like, walking into it and doing the thing but not actually acknowledging it and saying, you know, like, thank you for keeping me safe and allowing my mind to transcend it. Yeah. Yeah, it's real energy. Like, it is a real, it's an energy that you can, and even feeling, you know, even when we do meditation and we rub our hands together or something like that, you can feel the energy. You can even do that and start to feel the energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you do that as well, and even if you put your fingertips together and you look 3D between the two fingers, you will see energy moving between those two fingers. And that's a really beautiful thing just to play with just to sit and go frig this is amazing <laughs> like how, how does that no, like well no, yeah is it 98% energy? yeah like and to think we're not actually three we're not actually one dimension these aren't one piece this isn't one body we're millions billions of particles made up and we're all floating around but we fall into this existence we fall into this physical body yeah. So there's a really great show, if you haven't seen it, called What the Bleep Do We Know? And it's um, back from 2004 and Dr Joe Dispenza, he was in it. Yeah, so that was when I first met him. And then there's a series of 10 DVDs and how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? Um, but if you watch that, it gives you a real, it's a really, it's a sort of a documentary intertwined with a story. So it's a really great tool. I look at it every six to 12 months and just to give you a, a refresh of, yeah, how magnificent this craziness of this Such world is. World. Like you could literally just spend every waking hour studying it and still never know everything. Like, yeah. You know, I think yeah. Do. So with, with tarot, you're basically bridging the gap between us and the spiritual world and helping us understand ourselves and our spirit guides and our learning to understand our intuition better, yeah? Yeah. And as this is everything, the tarot cards already are you. We're not, and, and we're not learning anything, we're remembering. I think that sometimes we think we have to learn everything and learn about life and do all. It's not. It's just sitting there going, oh, "I remember that feeling. Yeah. I remember what it like. What love is. I remember what connection is." Yeah. And then when you when we sit in that, we have this yeah. moment of everything else just sort of falls away. But yeah, there are seventy eight cards, and they are they're like your roadmap. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but just behind me, yeah, sure. there's cards. Tachi on the couch, if you can see her there. <laughs> Those 78 cards behind me are the roadmap, basically. And, and the top three rows are called the major arcana, so they're called major mysteries. And then we have, have the big row. The first big row is fire, and that's our passion. And the second row becomes cups, which is our heart, love, emotions. Then the third row is swords and they become our mind, crazy yeah. stuff that can go on in here. And then the pentacles, the earth, are our self-worth and how we value ourselves. Ooh, so they're, they're literally, and then we have the major, the major arcana, our spirit, and then fire, earth, air, water. And so it's breaking us down into bite-sized little pieces so that we understand what our story is. And even when I pull, I pulled a card for us when we were after we got set up, yep. you know, with everything. And the card, oh, I think I've shuffled the deck now, um, was the five of wands about coming in. And I can't always get what you want; we get what we need. Yep. And even with the tech things that were coming in and out when we were trying to set up it's like yeah, yeah no that makes sense that makes sense oh so I, love this stuff. I remember the first time we met was at emily's house yeah, who we yeah. met through and yeah. we did a reading that night and it was spot on to my life i pulled seven cards i think it might was, do you pull seven as many as you can have your own reading it's whatever you like yeah 
and in sequence, they were exactly right from my transition to working in a normal job to becoming a personal trainer, having my own business, my last relationship ending, cutting ties with my old life and moving into where I am now. And, um, yeah, it was just every card was in sequence, spot on. Yeah. What had happened in yeah. the last two years and what it has now happened two years since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great to pull a card every day and just to do a check-in, you know, and, and it could be just saying, pulling a card and saying, you know, what card will support my highest good? Yes. That's a nice way, way to do a tune-in. The only reason I've held off is from, um, I guess, lack of knowledge. Like, I understand yeah. what tarot is and how it works, but not to the point where I feel confident enough to pull a card and understand how to act on it or understand it, and I really want to do that. So I'm actually going to, after this, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, yeah, yeah, and, and the the base like my favorite deck is by a lady called Chris Ann. She's um in in America in the states, but her deck is absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I didn't know you could get all of these different types of card designs from other people. I just thought they had to be stock standard as well up until recently. When I well, them. yeah, and that's that's true because like this is called the Rider Waite Smith deck. And this has been around for as long as I, this is one of my first cards. So it's pretty standard. I, I recommend this one as a starting point, but then just get all of Chris Ann's decks because you'll just want them because <laughs> they're just gorgeous art. After we finish this, I'll get you to drop a comment on the video explaining which decks you recommend getting. Yeah. So that yeah. the girls can all get them and me too yeah because um what we were going to do today we were going to start off with a very short reading of me to give you girls a bit of an insight into how it works um and then we're going to pick five of you to have a short little reading done so yeah. i'll get you to comment to say if you want to have a reading done with tanya while we are yeah. live do you want to do a little meditation before we start yeah that's going to be more beneficial yeah for sure yeah we just it'll just take a few minutes if you if you don't want to do it you can have a cup or something but if you want to just close your eyes and you know um, just to clear space just energetically clear some space. Or just was that for you having a reading done? Pardon? I'm excited to do the meditation though. If you don't want to do the meditation, girls, you can um, do something else for a few minutes. But yeah. I think it's going to be a great way to set up for the reading. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just, like I say, literally, so it's just a matter of letting go of all your thoughts. Don't even have to close your eyes if you don't want to, but just let go of all your thoughts. And now picture yourself standing in your favourite place in nature. So it could, it could be somewhere that you've been, it could be somewhere in your imagination, it doesn't matter. And as you're standing there, you start to feel the earth vibrate beneath your feet. And it's the the earth planting roots up through the soles of your feet. So all that beautiful, the crystals, the minerals, all the vitality from the earth is saying, come home, come back to your body. And as you breathe that beautiful earth energy up, acknowledge each part as we rise up through it. So say hello to your feet, to your ankles, calves, knees and thighs. And give them a little flex, a hug, say hello and let them relax. And then keep breathing up through your pelvis, torso, chest, back, arms and fingers. And then give those a hug, hug a flex, let them relax. And now shrug your shoulders a little bit, pull your shoulders up. And then let them drop and let the weight of the world fall off them. And give your neck a little bit of a stretch from side to side as well. And keep breathing and relax your throat, relax your ears, jaw, your nose, relax all the muscles in your face. And now let your eyes soften and then drift back into your third eye between the brows. It's the colour of indigo and it's the night sky. So drift out where the moons, the stars, the planets are into that beautiful expansion and then gently come to rest on the tip of your head. And that's the purple chakra. There's your connection to your intuition, psychic energy. 
and now look up in your mind's eye and see a beautiful ball of white light. And that's home. That's source energy, guide energy, spirit, God, whatever you like to call that. And let that wash down around you, through you, and throughout your beautiful space there. So from that place, there's nowhere to be, nothing to do, nothing to think. Just come back in whenever you're ready. Well done. Yeah, good. Good. I usually don't get so, my mind tries to fight it and it's like, think of other things or other thoughts come in, but that's like, I don't know. Really cool. yeah, that's the thing. When you, isn't it? When, yeah, when you're focusing on your body, it's, it's, yeah, it's home. So I'm going to split the deck. I'll put it back there so you can see it. I'm going to split the deck into three <laughs> and choose a pile for me. One, two, three. Choose a pile? Yeah. One, two, or three. Um, three. Three. And two numbers between one and ten. Seven and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Your first one is the Nine of Swords. And we want to look, look how you're sleeping, how you, where, where your mind goes wow. at night especially. That's crazy. Yeah? That's crazy because this house is very loud and I've been struggling to adapt my sleeping to a louder environment. Yeah. And obviously I've been single for four years six years and now James and I obviously share a bed and that's new. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. crazy. Mm. And it is your bedroom, that's exactly right. So what they're wanting so what what blocks so what what happens this becomes the crossing card. This was the the other one. We need these two to be side by side rather than blocked. This one's all about pause and time out. And this this one's saying I don't know if I get enough sleep to have too much rest. Like I, I there's, there's a real, you can see how they're opposites. Here's sword energy and this is work. Yeah. You can take, you can take your work to bed with you. Mm. Oh, I give yeah. what I do. So yeah. 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 So it might be um, anything that's not, anything that's in your bedroom that's not for sleep, take, take it out of your bedroom. Yep. Basically empty in terms of stuff to like. Obviously, my phone sits beside my bed. I don't touch it until I wake up in the yep. morning to turn the alarm off. Yeah. But um, yep. definitely the new sleep environment yep. has created shifts in my sleep patterns. Yeah. Like to adapt. So that's crazy. Well, we, and then, so what's the other one trying to tell me? So the seven is the catalyst for change. All the sevens are waiting for change to happen. So here, here's the one. This is a. a Pentacle that's ripened and it's fallen off on its own. These other seven or oh, six need fertilizer, sun, watering. So you've got all these other ideas that you're waiting to come to fruition and they'll come, they're there, but they just need time. So don't go rushing them, don't go overthinking them. Wow. This is all of the things that James and I are going to be bringing into fitness coaching together yeah. um yeah. so girls get excited for couples fitness mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of the things that i'm doing to expand on the value i bring to my favorite fit girls like the ideas yeah. that's that wow yeah and it's a, we're in a seven year so 2023 adds up to seven and so we're all, all um being accountable being responsible this year for what we you know for what we want to do yeah um I love that. yeah I love that this is also the year i feel like i've really just dived fully immersed myself in personal development i've always yeah. it's always been a part of what i've done to a certain degree but now i'm just like i'm all in on this because it really is the thing yeah yeah Sorry, that's crazy yeah and even have a look at um out of body work 
for you? Because that's what this, you know, that's what this can be about is that night sky, all that darkness there. Yeah. The, the positive of this card is go and explore the other side yeah. when you go to sleep. I've always been intrigued as well. Like I've mm. always been fascinated by that but too scared to go there because mm. what if I'm not equipped? <laughs> Well, this is saying that, and that's what can happen because you can you can sometimes feel guilty about things you haven't even done. You can yeah. worry about things that aren't real. Sometimes this card can be, and especially around work, you can be thinking, "Did I do that? Did I do it the right way?" Or maybe you know, uh -huh. and then yeah, and then your mind will just take that to bed, and then mm -hmm. in a, it, we could really turn that over on the table because it's not real. It's like watching a scary movie and then going to bed with the scary movie in your mind, yeah. but it's not and real. Yeah. yeah. I literally so did that when I watched I Am Legend. It's the only movie that's ever actually scarred me. A re yeah, there's, there's always one of them, isn't there? Yeah, yeah like that. Like you, because our subconscious doesn't know the difference between real and imagined fear. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And when you can walk into the fear, you imagine walking into that movie or walking into whatever it is, then there is no fear. There's no such thing as fear. It's it's it really is an illusion. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, once even when we're looking at timing, even we've got um, July here, yeah. and so from, from September last year, leading through through to here, you've got to this point and now it's like, right, what's that? April, May, June, yeah, only in the next few months you're going to see changes to this. So, and then what I do, and it would take it, it's a whole other process to do, but I see these two cards as your inner child. So we've got your seven-year-old and your nine-year-old and then you add these together and they become your 16. And then one and six reduces to seven again. So seven is a strong, strong age for you, um, for inner child work, because it, it's you know, seven year old is when our values are forming. A stepdad. Uh huh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because seven is my favourite number. Purely because it's a random odd number that's not smack in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a spiritual number too. Like it, I mean, all numbers are spiritual. With spiritual, seven is up there with spiritual numbers. Yeah, for sure. And so, yeah, what I what I would do with these two is go and get that in a child, see where she's at, what her story is, and then you take her with you throughout your day as well. But even if you can recognise your seven year old and and you know, um, gosh, I love that. <laughs> my memory banks of what, what happened when I was seven. Yeah. Just like, friend her. I'll get you to help me do that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. That's enough for me taking up time. Let's do some readings for something. Yeah. Else, everyone wants a reading. All right. So the first yes we got was from Jasmine. So, Jasmine, are you still here, babe? We're going to get um, we're gonna get Tandy to do a reading for you. So I'll get you to comment the pile and the numbers that you want to use. Absolutely perfect. All right, so yeah, okay, so I'm going to put them in. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So if Jasmine can see. Can you yeah. see Jasmine's comments? Uh, oh, yep, yeah. yes. Perfect. So, yeah, yeah. so we, Jasmine, just start uh, message any questions or any comments that you've got in the comments and then um, Tanya can see them and respond. Yep, yeah, great. So which um, pile would you like, Jasmine, and two numbers between 1 and 10? take a little bit to come through. Yeah. Do you see comments before? Yes, came through pretty quick, so we know that they're working. Hello, two numbers between one and ten. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Two numbers between one and ten. Yeah, we're getting all right, this is about your voice, Jasmine. So we've got your first card down is another seven, seven of wands. And what 
Crossing is the King of Swords. Now, this is Libra energy or air element. So it's, this is actually a person. And first of all, all of the court cards, which are the people cards, are you first. And then we experience them on the outside. And because this is the block, this is you being able to say exactly what you mean and not being swayed from that because kings are very fixed when they have, have a mindset. The queens are, sorry, they're cardinal, so they just look straight ahead, whereas the queens can look side to side. We can do that as women even. We're more flexible. Kings aren't. Once they have a mindset, that's it. They decide and they're not going to talk about anything else. So there's going to be clarity around what you want to do and this see this feeling of you need to stand, in, to stand up for yourself. So you've got your standing up here. All these wands represent personal growth with the green shoots, so their personal development. So you're going through this massive personal development shift and as you're doing that, it's like your voice is changing and it's like I really want to be heard differently to what I have been in the past. Yeah. This relates so much to the conversation we had last week before she actually started her forever fit journey. This is yeah, the wow. Yeah. And she she all the seven years. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if she's and writing a comment about um, her thoughts on this, but I'm, I'm not even Jasmine and I'm blown away. Yeah. Good. And, and Jasmine, with the seven, all the sevens, this year we can either all rise up in the seven and then get people to elevate with us so we're all elevating each other that's the that's the purpose of what, what this world is about is helping each other or it can feel like you're just in a battlefield so it's almost like you only let people in the room that get that are gonna you are gonna elevate each other anybody that isn't allowing you to do that it's like okay i'm i'm not in this room and then you at least find your inner strength and your inner voice to be able to come back in readiness for whatever comes up the next time. I'm dying. This is so cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you want? If you want to take a, just, you can take a screenshot of it. Do you want to take a shot of those cards? Yeah. Well, this, this video is going to oh, go up cool. on replay in the group, so Jasmine, you'll be able to flip yeah. through and screenshot that, um, and go back and replay and watch. Yeah. This. Great. That was so cool. I love it. Great. Right. Thanks, Desmond. Next, we got Janelle would love a reading. All right. And then we've got Zara, Sarah, Paige, and Shannon. Love it. Okay. So who who are we doing? Who are we doing next? Oh, sorry. Let's do Janelle. So Janelle, are you still here, babe? Um, everyone who is still here who requested a reading. Um, oh, Janelle. Yep, yeah, nope, she's here. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, let's go. Right. So give, um, tell Tanya what pile you would like out of the three and the two numbers of the card that you'd like her to pull for you. One, two, or three. So it takes a little bit. Come through them. All day. I'm fascinated. <laughs> what? Oh, Angie. What? Gosh, so beautiful. Angie would love a reading as well. Absolutely. Cool. Right. No worries. And two numbers, Janaya, between one and ten. And if you want to think about the ones who's coming next. Maybe you could already pull a pile and pull two numbers. Pull. Yeah, so um, everyone who's requested yep. um, to have a reading done to think about what numbers they want to give you. So, Janaya, we've got three and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, everyone seven, eight. Everyone who's requested a reading, draw the pile number and the two numbers you want, and that way Tanya can just go through and do them. Okay, Janaya, your first card is justice. Now, this is a major arcana. And see how we've got the sword again and again the mind. There's been something that has ended and begun. It's like you're having a fresh start. And the ten, that's what the Ten of Cups is all about. It's like you've, you've gone through so much. Like you've, you've 
travel the whole path and see how even in the in the card the water finishes you can just see that the and the, when i say it, it's like the emotions too you've gone through an emotional roller coaster you know roller coaster as well oh, Janae, i know this to be true for you babe. and i know you know because it's a because it's still on its side it, it's like you know really it's seeing it as this turn because we can't have a, an ending without a beginning mm -hmm. they, they go hand in hand so it's all the tens are about beginnings and endings at the same time and that's what you're going through this massive shift emotionally and for you as well it's like really finding your voice with with justice as well you might have some documents to sign as well maybe contracts or something to do with having to sign on a dotted line so just make sure you're reading all the right things and might be purchasing something or doing you know something new as part of this wow. um yeah so just listen you know she's very good at listening to her inner voice and all about keep she's the peacekeeper because she's libra so libras like to keep harmony and there will be how do you know keeping harmony is important but just not every. It's not. I'm not just not doing this for everybody now. I'm finishing this cycle of just people pleasing. If that makes sense. This is fascinating because Janae has just written this big comment. Pretty much since birth, it's just been non-stop, and now my little family can finally find peace and calm. And oh wow, yeah, I am. Oh my god, yeah. Signed contracts today and have more to do. This is it. Oh wow, that's amazing. Amazing. So good. I'm dying. Girls, this is so fantastic. Oh, my God, Janae, I'm so glad that was for you. Um, all oh, right, who was next? Yeah. Um, who was next? Did her. So Angie wanted pile two, numbers three and seven. Okay. Angie, was it? Yeah. Sorry, say them again for me and I'll write them down. Pile, pile two and numbers three and seven. Okay. All right, Angie. I'm so glad that was so good, you know, That makes me so happy. And pile two, Angie, and three and seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Angie. This is the page of pentacles your first one here's it there's going to be an offer of work or someone wants to talk to you they want to offer to you something and the knight of wands is going to be someone that comes this there's a whole lot of new stuff here these are young energies person coming in either offering you work or wanting to ask you have you got a trip coming up like a holiday because you, there'll be travel coming up and it might not be something you really plan ahead. It might be something that you suddenly just go, no, I'm going. And it'll be, you know, yeah, you're going on, yeah. Make, even when you go on that, make sure you say yes to things because this is, see how it's blocked? And this one's saying, come, you know, I want to, so yeah, say yes to a lot of Any a lot more things details. than what you normally would. <laughs> what is this relating to for you? I'm fascinated. There's someone coming into a Sag energy, Sagittarius energy, and around Christmas there's going to be, you know, that around Christmas you'll see a big shift happen um, in your world as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. Can you see how that whole stops you from having this? Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, that's good. That is amazing. Well done, Angie. That blows me away. I can't yeah. believe that related to you so much as well. All right. Thanks, so, Angie. We've got Sarah who wants pile one. Um, Sarah. You're Numbers need to be between one and ten, babe. So instead of thirteen, what would you prefer? Oh, and you just asked a question. Um, I need to know. Oh, what do you need to know, babe? What's happening with the Sagittarius? 
the Sagittarius person. There's the Sagittarius energy coming in. Sagittarius love travel. They're funny. They've got a lot of humour about them and they, they, they do. They love a good joke and you know a Sag when they come in. They can be high and low at the same time because they're big energy and then they, they can tire quickly. But comedy, laughter. There's going to be a lot more laughter than this person. Yeah, yeah. And, and you will laugh so much you'll know that this person's the person that we're talking about. Oh, Andy, I'm so excited, babe. Oh, my God, mm. please keep your mind open for that. It's coming for you. Oh, yeah, right. Sarah, three and nine, and it was pile Sarah, three and nine, and pile one. Pile one, amazing. Oh, this is so fun. I love your dog in the background. Oh, one. What's that? Your dog in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she's not snoring. Um, and th three and nine. One, two, three. And nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we've got a major arcana, your first one. And Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Judgment. As it as the card is, don't judge yourself. Every time you Yeah. That's your big thing. Be kind to yourself. Um, there's a real, you're at a crossroad at the moment because that's what the red cross represents. You can turn left, right, or straight up and down, whichever way you want to go. What's block blocking and what we want to open up is the three of cups. So here's, like even the group you're in here and joining in with like-minded people, you're going to be meeting someone. See how you can see these two faces but you can't see this person? always represents someone that's coming in that you'll meet through a friend of a friend or through a group that's going to meet you on this crossroad. And, and you're pr probably too going to be clearing out friendships. If there's any, any friendships that have sort of been hanging on the edges and you don't feel like they're really where you're at or, you know, where you want to be, then you don't have to hold, hold on just for the sake of, you know, worry that some might judge you for it or, you know, judgment's a big card, isn't it? Whatever we whatever we point out, we're always judging. I mean, we're here to judge because we judge the sunrise. We say how beautiful it is. What, is it ugly then? <laughs> you know, that's what, we're, that's what judgment is. We've, we've always got the contrast. Um, how I see this is be, be kind to yourself. You're going through a revelation at the moment. And as you go through this revelation and start increasing and sort of looking up, it's like you've got a jigsaw puzzle of life and you're at the point where you can see all the pieces where they're meant to fit. You've only got a few more pieces. And it's like, oh, so you can't just pick that piece up and squish it in here because it wasn't meant to be there. Knowing that every piece of the puzzle is exactly where it needs to fit and then you're opening up here to meeting new, this whole new, whole new group that going to take you into other areas of your life and a new person as well. Oh my gosh, Sarah, you have to tell us if this is relevant for you because that's amazing. I absolutely love the detail in that too. Like, you just got to wonder how these guys become such relevant. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and one, two, three. Okay, more cups. So, Zara, you've got the two of cups, relationships, and what blocks is the eight of wands? And it's so interesting because this, see how you've got two people coming together here, and this one's about freedom. It's like how, how do you have freedom in relationships? Because it might feel like when you have a relationship that you just do everything for a relationship. And then you give yourself up. You you give you give, give over your freedoms. And so this is going to be for you. It's like how do you keep, how do you stay true to you by going off and doing a quest? Go off and do your own thing, and then you come back, and then you go off and you come back. Um, allow yourself to do that. That's that help. I love that. Mm -hmm. It just mm. like just the way that you're able to articulate what these cards mean as well. I just look at them like how much do you have to learn to actually understand how to read these? Okay, well, you... well, I that's why I did a course. I I sat in front of the camera and did a course because I thought when I was doing workshops, I repeat the same thing over and over, and I thought, yeah, so I turned it into a course. But it's just practicing every day and putting your all imprint on your cards. Yeah. You 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 join magic into your deck. You'll read, yes. read the tarot your way. I'll read. It's not like you have to have it wrote down, you know. And sometimes I'll see a very different. Sometimes you might even just see that little house off in the background and not even notice the ones flying. Because you get a, you're attracted to what you need to see. Yeah. 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 Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Can uh, that, that mean any relationship like with my mum? Yeah, yeah, because it's it's an example of everything else too. Yeah, that makes sense. And then numbers three and eight. Two, three and eight. Okay, Shannon. Okay, one, two, three, pile two, and three and eight. One, two, three, and two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, got a few majors coming out. There's another major, Arcana. So Shannon, um, the Hermit. The here, the Hermit's really spiritual, and if you don't have a spiritual practice, you'll go crazy. If if you don't have a little nook in your house or somewhere that you can find your own inner peace, could be behind a door. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so, somewhere where you can hide yourself away so that you can do the inner work because this is like reflection and the hermit the hermit governs time so how do you use your time like time is a physical thing we as humans put you know even past present future one o'clock two o'clock we're putting a time on everything um when we're doing the spiritual work we're not looking at time they don't care about time they don't care if we they don't care if we meditate for a minute or an hour. They still love the fact that we're just tuning in and going out of time and into space. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how do you come out of, out of time and, like, how do you use your time? And then we have the Queen of Swords. There's an interesting conversation, Shannon, coming up with someone because this is um, Aquarius energy and Aquarius is a very big thinker. Aquarians can... They can seem aloof sometimes, Aquarius, but they do have a really big, um, like they can be CEO of Save the Children. You know, they have a big vision for the world and they don't, they don't, their challenge can be one-on-one -on -one relationships because they kind of just see the bigger image. And this is looking at the relationship you have with you, make that priority, not so much other people but with you. <laughs> 
This, this card is going to call you in and keep calling you home so that you're so comfortable on your own that you'll go, oh, geez, where, where's that been all my life? And there, there will be a spiritual practice that you will get really um, intimate with. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah. That's fascinating. So what's, what effect is the Aquarian energy going to have on her? So this, these become people. So there's a person coming in, an Aquarius energy that's coming in that's going to be asking Shannon to think big. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this card can come in as a really challenging person because they're so direct. They really don't have feelings. They're just, they're, and like I'm a sword energy, I'm king of swords, Libra is king of swords, Aquarius is queen of swords, Gemini is knight of swords. So all the core cards are astrology. And so we think functional, rational and emotionally detached. Like even when I'm reading, I'm reading, like I'm reading through this, how I translate. Um, I rarely get a emotionally invested in a reading because that's not my I'm the observer of the reading and there is going to be something where you will observe this person ha ha yes um, um so I'll put the cards behind the writing and then I can see it a bit better is right the other oh, gym that's my therapy definitely didn't care about time when I'm doing the gym and it might be to yeah have a look at what your how do you meditate how do you spend time on your own when you're not at gym even? Like how do you journal or whatever it might be? Um, because you've got some brilliant ideas. Like where are you putting them? Where are you putting those ideas? Like taking them out into the world. And this is where you'll meet this person that's going to help you throw those things out into the world. Ideas and yeah. formulating thoughts and plans and things like that, but something's keeping her small that's stopping her from actually bringing it to fruition. Finding that I'm a nine, Shannon. So when I like when when I add up my birthday, so you add up your birthday, birth month, and your the year you were born. So one plus two or whatever the numbers are, and I add up to twenty seven, so it reduces to a nine. You've all got a tarot card number, um, and. And so if I didn't have my reading room, my little nook, I would go crazy. If I didn't do, do something dedicated to this, and this is what it's asking you, dedicate that part to you, to doing your spiritual work and feeling, you know, do, yeah. Because even it might be that um, your escape might be going to the gym where, where there are connections. And this is saying, no, no, even come back in here and do meditation before you go to gym you could lead meditation you could run a meditation group oh sorry say that again Yeah, well, and Shannon could even lead a meditation group at the gym. Yeah, right. Oh, right. Well, she could lead a meditation on screen. She could do a meditation on screen with whoever's on or whatever. If she could do meditation or something that she can tune in, tune in and do, but there's something, I'm not seeing it as a gym. I know that I get what you mean, but it's like when you do your spiritual work, apart from just you in here doing this, mm. what is that? What does that sound like to you? Mm. I love that. Cool. Yeah, because I feel like Shane's got a lot inside that's not being... That a lot of like a lot more potential bottles up than what you're actually putting out there, Shana, is what I'm trying to get out, I think. Yeah, and that voice bringing it out into the world, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my god, this yeah. is just absolutely cool. blowing my mind. Oh, oh. It's good, thank you. Yeah, it's good. Even even like all of these readings have just been so absolutely spot on, even mine to the point of like the randomness of the timing of the sleep stuff. Like and I only chose number seven because it actually is my favourite number in 
five is another like contract. Yeah. Another and, contract. Yeah, so and they would be, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it worked yeah. out exactly as it needs to. Yeah. Thank you. This is like, because obviously we've spoken many times before, but um, obviously girls, like I'm going to be doing a lot more work with Tanya as well on this because I just want to dive in and learn a lot more about how this all works and be able to actually start pulling cards to read them and understand what they mean. Mm. Um, so, but you girls also, like Tanya said, she's got a course that she has that you can actually take um, and obviously does one-to-one readings as well. So if any of you would love to have a more in-depth reading where you can actually converse with her live, um, yeah. you can reach out to her through. what what Which account would you prefer them to reach out to you through? The one that you're live on here? Um, as you can tell, like, I don't do Facebook because I've got no idea how to use that. I hope I sh- stepped away to deal with kids. Yeah, we can no. do your page if you want to. But- Oh, Paige, did we not get to do yours, babe? You must have, um, because we got all of the girls to put their preferred piles and numbers in. Well, let's quickly do one for Paige, um, and then after that we'll wrap up and I'll get you to drop the details. So if any of the girls want to contact you separately, then they can. Sure. What, um, Paige, I'm splitting it into three. So what pile and then two two numbers between one and ten? Pick pile be blown away one cards. Oh, you did. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Oh, did you? Sorry, Paige. And so what number? Two and ten. Two and ten. One, two, and Did you pop a comment with cards that, and numbers that you wanted as well, Rach? I've just got a I can just see a comment saying sorry, but I don't know what it was wrong. Oh. Yes, currently I'm going to make a division. Oh, I saw that one from Shan too. Yeah, I love how relevant that was for you, Shan. Ah, uh, so Paige. Another seven. A few sevens are coming up. If if we were sitting together, I would be asking what your values are. All, all these cups represent what's important to you. And they all so this one's spirituality, authenticity. Intimacy and creativity, healing the past, success, abundance, passion. So see how this is you looking at what do I want? What's the what's what's my which cup do I want to draw down and manifest? So now would be the ideal time for you, Paige, to create a vision board so that you can really you would you would be pulling that down, you know, in the, so get just play with it. And when you do a vision board, let go of it. Have it as a visual and then just they will, they, spirit will always create it a million times better than what we can imagine. So create something, play in it, but then let it go. And then what's blocking is literally nine again and the nine represents time, how much time you have on your hands. So literally we have that as the block. When do you get the time to dream? When do you get the time to spend here imagining something different? And see how you've got, you know, you've got your nine wands, so you're doing a lot of work, and the nines are too. They're they're able to sit back and go, I need to delegate something here. I can't keep doing everything for everybody all the time. And that's going to be part of what gives you permission to dream is that you delegate. Give other people a job to do so that you're not doing it all. Ask for help. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't think you do that enough. That's amazing. So get clear on what your values are and what you truly want by giving yourself time to actually sit and stop and work it out. Yeah. And keep going. There's this real, this is, you know, when you, I don't know, when I run, sometimes if I'm buggered, I can feel a push and I know who it is. There's a young girl who passed and she, Pushes me, and it's like the, and that's what spirit will do in this card. It's just like that little extra push you get, you know, when you feel that. That's spirit giving you a push as well. Wow. You'll feel it. You'll feel it in that card. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, Paige, I'd love for you to comment and tell us how relevant that feels for you specifically as well, because that's that's in depth. I love that. 
And right, yeah. did you want to drop some numbers so we can do a quick one for you as well, babe? A pile and two numbers between one and ten. The pile between one and three. Oh, so, so many values that I'm trying to I'm working on how I can put my values business. So, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, so good. Have a look at Dr. John D. Martini. Um, he's great with values. Um, he's got a free thing that you can do on his website to how, how to assess your values. I bloody love this as well. That's so fascinating too because a lot of the stuff that we that I'm teaching you girls in Forever Fit the Mindset stuff now is unlocking the blocks yeah. here that will give yeah. you that ability to actually go out and take the action and start that business too. So yeah. that's exciting. Yeah. It. yeah. It's great. Awesome. Check it. Yeah. yeah. He's, um, I did his um, breakthrough yeah. experience he's got. Yeah. I'm not sure if Rach is still actually on to give us her numbers. Um, Rach, if you are, babe, give us a pile number between one and three and two numbers between one and ten so that Tanya can pull those cards for you. Um, if she's had to go off, though, that's okay. Um, while we're yeah. waiting for that to come through, we can just let all of the girls know which um, Facebook account would you prefer. Do you want me to just tag one of them in the comments that you can that they can yeah. um, Actually, I don't even know how to use Facebook. Can it be Instagram? All right. All right. Yep. Cool. So I'll put I'll put a comment in the video comments once we've done that with your Hi, Instagram handle, so that yeah, they great. can find you. Yeah. And um, yeah, because that's where we connect with anyway. So um, yeah, great. On Instagram, send or would you prefer like a text? We can drop your phone number. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or an email, like if you oh, like email, phone number, yeah. Instagram, and yeah. email. So you yeah. can email, you can contact her however you feel more comfortable to converse. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to do a bit more of an in depth private reading with Tanya, where you can actually speak face to face with her directly and get a bit more out of it as well, then, um, yeah, she'll be able to arrange that for you too. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And if you've even got any more questions about your cards, I'm happy to just. Send another email. email tonight yeah, with anything yeah. that you felt would be easy to ask. Yeah. One to one classes for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I love that. Oh, this Thanks has been so much incredible. Today. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. My brain is just going to be all over the show with yeah. ideas like which were the cars that I pulled. I know. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. With your nine of swords, it's saying thank you for a good cup of tea. Thanks for the insight. Thanks for just keep repeating those nine things over and over, and you'll go to sleep with those, and they'll boom out the other side in the morning. Fun. Yeah. Oh God, I'm actually really glad. I love this. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, Thank fascinating. you so much. Great. Thanks so, for having me. That was fun. Thank you so much for coming on and doing this for me and for the girls. I know they've absolutely bloody loved it. I just feel quite warm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We can do this every now and then for you guys to Yeah, and I do card pulls on Instagram. So there's a card every day that you can have a look, listen to as well. So, you know, you don't have to have a reading or anything. You can just have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amazing, ladies. Well, thank you all for coming on and sharing this time with us and letting Tanya do this for you. I've just absolutely loved watching you all get your readings done and, and be here with you girls tonight. I can't wait till we do this all again. Um, we're going to make this a regular thing, having people come on to do things to, to help you girls elevate and um, learn and discover new things to professionals in all sorts of health and mindset, spirituality work. So get excited for that. Tanya's been our first one to come on and do it for us. Absolutely <laughs> honoured to have you on. Thank you so much for doing this. It's been absolutely amazing. And you are absolutely Thank you. amazing. Thanks, Emma. Thank you. It was great. Enjoyed it. All right, ladies. I'll end the video Love. here and I'll drop a comment with Tanya's contact details for you all. So, um, Thanks. Thanks, Bye. <laughs> Bye. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed and got value from this episode. If you did, please remember to hop over to the review section and leave us a five-star review to help us reach and inspire more people to live their best lives. Also, remember any links mentioned in this episode are available in the show notes for you now. I cannot wait to speak to you again in the next episode.